Dolly zoom is one of the most confusing and fascinating camera techniques in history and has also been used in some of the most popular films of all time. One of the reasons for the popularity of this effect is its strange appearance, but the main reason is hidden in its underlying layers. By using this effect, you can increase the feeling of a sequence and communicate more with the audience. In fact, with the help of this technique, the subject is separated from the background, so that you have the greatest impact on the viewer. It can be used to show a subject in a transcendental way. The sense of experience of taking hallucinogens or used to transport a viewer from one world to another. In the world of simulation, this technique can be used and impress the audience. In this video, we discuss how to create the dolly zoom effect in 3ds Max and Chaos Vantage software. Hello, welcome to MimViz. Here we have a room with a table where the objects on the table move up over time. I decided to use the dolly zoom effect for the suspended objects to be more attractive. First, we need to create a camera through the create menu. It does not matter whether it is a physical camera or a V-Ray physical camera. It is better to turn off the target first so that it does not disturb our work. We have to align the camera with the table on the x-axis so that it is in the middle of the table. We change the perspective view to the camera and move slightly upwards. With the shortcut Shift and F, we can see the camera frame. We chose a wide lens. The number 15 is suitable. Now we activate the guidelines for a more accurate result. From this path, we activate the action safe option. We play with the numbers so that the guidelines are the same as the door lines. Guidelines should stay in a fixed place in both lenses. Now we have to animate the camera. We activate the auto key option and place this strip in the last frame. Now, by choosing a telephoto lens with a number of 140, we move the camera back to a certain extent so that the guidelines are the same as the door lines. To solve the problem of not seeing the image, it is enough to make the crop as needed in the camera settings. We play with numbers to get the desired result. As we can see, gradually the distance between the objects decreases and compression is created and the focus on the table increases. It is also possible to do the opposite and move from the tele lens to the wide lens. The method of conversion should be specified according to the scenario and need. So we can conclude that dolly zoom is the conversion of two different lenses with a fixed subject. Let's go inside the Vantage software to see how to create it in this. I already took the output and opened it in the software so that we don't lose time. As in the previous section, we need auxiliary lines here. From the camera menu, you can create guidelines with different modes with this option. We have to create the first camera with a wide lens that is 15. Consider where the guidelines are. Save the camera. Now we increase the focal number in the camera settings to create a telephoto lens. We also go back a bit to have a fixed subject according to the guidelines. Here too, we enable clipping 
so that there is no problem. I will go up a little to solve the problem of cutting the ground. After reaching the appropriate result, we recorded the second camera. By adding cameras to the bottom bar, we can see the result. We changed the length of the animation to 7 seconds to match the animation of the objects. We can see that the guidelines are fixed and the lenses are transformed. So you can easily get an attractive result from a simple scene and effect. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like and comment to support us. In the next video, we will have a scene state workshop. Subscribe to us so you don't miss the videos. Bye until the next tutorial.